let's try to draw this broken egg in front of us. Okay. I have two drawings for you here. So what we're going to do is we're going to start on you there. Having our dimensions in millimeters, we're going to go metric, standard millimeter, then you say create. Here, we're going to start with ellipses. So here is our first one. Okay, you can give them whichever dimensions you want because this is your own design. So you're designing a broken egg. So you just want to see how your drawing will look like. I'm going to give dimensions. So this one here will be 16.4. The second one would be 16. Here... I'll have, uh, I'm coming here, yeah, come on, I'll have 12.7, 12.7, the second one will be 12.3, okay, now that I have that one there, I'm going to have my third ellipse, there you go, Mm, like that. Let's go up to there. Okay. Uh, up to there. Good. Then I'm gonna go with a uh, polygon. So this one will have. Uh, let's go with uh, 15 sides. So I'll come here. Then put it this way. Let's see. That's fine. Then we're going to make the brokenness more realistic. Then I'm going to go for a circle. Remember, whichever dimension you want. So this one here, I'm going to come there and say going up to there. Okay. That is good. Or you can make it bigger. Up to you. So... I want to make it bigger, so I'm going to come there. Yeah, and I'll go like this. All right, that's good. Once you've done with this one, what you're going to do is uh, you're going to come on 3D model there. Now, then, first, you need to draw your axis. Okay, so that's one day. I'll draw it like that. So if you have some doubts about... Uh, your centeredness of your line, what you can do is you can just make sure that the, the deviation between the center of origin and your axis is zero. In our case, it's already zero. So I'm going to go on 3D model there. I'm going to click on revolve. Then I'm going to select these parts. Okay, did I select it? That part against my axis. There we go. Then I say OK. After that, I'm going to go on sketch. I right click on my mouse. I say visibility on. What did I do? Sorry. <laughs> I, right, I say visibility on. Sorry for that. Then I say extrude. I come here. Then I'm going to select that circle of mine. OK. I'll cut it this way can you see this but i'll make sure that uh, it goes further three three good then i say okay again extrude i need to cut now this one that this way as you can see i say okay now i'm gonna go on revolve Revolve, I need to revolve this part here against my axis. There you go. Okay. There you go. Then I say, okay. Then after that, I'll say visibility off. Visibility off. Now you have your drawing. So if you want this part here to be bigger you can just come here 
you say um, edit sketch okay now you want this one to be bigger you can give it dimension so uh, that is 15 you can give it 20 okay the next thing that you want you need to make that center closer to that one so it's eight now you can say four good can you see that or you can say uh, six good you say finish you see the magic happening there so now there you go up to you now you can give the material i'm gonna go with the gold gold then i'm gonna apply color to it so i want this side here to be yellowish so how see go to yellow that's one is fine a little bit closer to that like that okay now i say plus now inside here a little bit whitish close to what i'm looking for plus again this part here good plus inside there Plus now that's one day more yellowish up to you. So you can play with the color to get your desired design. However, I've, I've given you the basics. So it was a pleasure of mine sharing this video with you. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you're gonna enjoy it. For now, I'm going to ask you to take care of yourselves. Please don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share, don't forget to like. See you on the next video. Bye.